Good morning. This is Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, with the AM Volatility Report, and I want to wish everybody a happy holiday. Happy holidays. Um, so let's talk about the market. Um, well, we're basically flat on the day. VIX continues to be a little bit firmer, but it's really the VIX futures that are holding up. And one reason might be VIX Mo. Now, what is VIX Mo? That's actually what VIX futures and options expire into. All right, that is the calculation that they expire into on the standard months, your January month, the active contract. Uh, VIX Cash. Still an important one, but uh, used for weeklies, but maybe not as much for the monthly yet. And, um, you know, as we look around, you've got the S&P up on the year. You've got the NASDAQ up on the year. You've got the Dow still down on the year. So there's still room for them to rally the markets, and I think they're going to try. Uh, I think that we're going to see, you know, any shakeout, that, any shakeout of the market is occurring kind of right now. They're going to try and jiggle the tree, see if they can shake out to dump their position. But at some point, there's going to be a softening of, of volatility here, either today or Monday, uh, as we step in and, and I think uh, see some, some pressure on, on volatility. Now, the VIX cash is about where it needs to be. Um, we could see it maybe threaten to break 15. Uh, the futures. Uh, maybe not quite where they need to be, but close. So, you know, the VIX cash, when we come back on January 5th, or January 4th, excuse me, you know, if I add in all these extra days, the VIX, the cash VIX index is right around, we'll call it 16 and a half, 17, by the time all is said and done. Well, if you look at a VIX future of around 18, that's about right. You know, maybe maybe if VIX cash softens to into the 14s, that puts us back at 16, and then you see the GM future get to maybe 17 and a half. But I think 17 and a half is about the threshold, uh, at least for now. Uh, if we get some more rallying next week, we could see volatility come in more. Uh, but that's that's really about it. That that's all we're uh, we're lining up to see right now. Now the question is, you know, do, does that change if you know we rally a little bit and and you know movement stops happening? Because one of the reasons why VIX is so firm is look at the movement. I mean, I know we're not doing much today, but look at the realized volatility in in the S&P. Twenty day realized vol is almost nineteen percent. VIX is only fifteen seventy. Ten day all, almost twenty one percent. So the S P has been far, far exceeding its implied volatility index. So, you know, there's reasons VIX isn't going down much more and shouldn't be going down much more. That's kind of the way everything seems to be lining up now. So the question is, what's next? Well, like I said, it's going to depend on if S&P turns around. If we end up up six or seven or ten on the day, you know, less than a half a percent, let's say, uh, you could see vol come in. Uh, aggressively. Um, but if we end up down even a little, uh, then don't be surprised to see Vault bid. That's the way I think things line up on the day. All right, folks. Uh, on that note, I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and uh, a hopefully lovely Christmas. And I believe Kwanzaa starts over the weekend as well. So uh, happy to both. I will. Talk to you soon.